Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your Bravo espresso machine, pour the filter to your grinder, step by step. Here's what we need. We need a brush and flat head screwdriver for the, your group head if you are using Bravo Brista Pro. Uh, if you are using Bravo Brista Express, you should have Allen wrench on your toolbox on your Bravo Express, Brista Express. And also you need a brush for your grinder. Let's get going. Let's start with the photo filter. As you can see, it looks pretty clean. If you are going to take a closer, I'm going to remove the photo filter, uh, filter basket here. Sometimes it's hard to come out, just work it. Okay, plastic part. I like to remove the plastic part, just to remove the spout. And then I like to use a chopstick or some kind of sharp object. Just so, uh, as you can see, they have a plastic piece there. Just push it in, okay? Just slowly, and then you should pop up from the bottom. As you can see, so this is pretty dirty. So you might want to clean this and then put back in your plastic piece. Just uh, take your paper towel. Just make sure cleaning inside well. Okay, I mean that's pretty dirty. And also you just clean underneath sink as well. Okay, just make sure clean it well. Uh, you do not want to drink this. Okay, you do not want to drink this. I'm just gonna clean it. Okay. Sometimes I use the hot water from the group head as well. That looks pretty clean. Just make sure just finish it up. Clean it well. And put back in your plastic piece. You're all set. Let's work on steam one tips. Uh, obviously you cannot use your hand. Back of your tray box there. You're gonna see two like this. Simply go in, just twist it counterclockwise. And there comes on uh, this device, you're gonna see a sharp uh, needle. With the steam one, you're gonna see four holes there. You just uh, one by one clean it. One by one, clean it. Once cleaning is done, just simply put back in. And then just twist it clockwise. Do not go too tight. Okay. Let's take a look. Works good. Now it's group head. Uh, you just need a, for the Bravo Vista Pro, you just need a flat head screwdriver. Again, if you are using the Bravo Vista Express, you need an Allen wrench in your toolbox there. Before you removing the screw, just remove the drip tray. This makes it a lot easier. Just unscrew it. It should be easy. Just come come right up. Do not lose these screws. At this point, use the flat portion of your screwdriver. Just make sure gently, you don't want to move too hard, scrape too hard. Just make sure gently remove the screen. Again, we're gonna clean the shower screen. Just make sure you clean it well. Uh, if you have to, just go underneath the sink. Just wash it properly. 
Before put back in the shower screen, just get your, uh, make sure you get the wet paper towel. Just clean inside as well. Just make sure you clean it well. Get the, all the coffee oil out. You see, it's pretty dirty. Now we can put back in the shower screen and screw. Once everything is put back in, I like to use the cleaning brush, start the water. Just go through the side as well, just finer cleaning. Now let's work on the built-in grinder. So before we clean the grinder, here's what I like to do first. First, I like to change my grinder size to coarsest. So which means we're gonna go number 30 on my grind size. And then I like to run it. Okay, I like to run the grinder. As you can see, I have a dosing cup. Uh, it's empty. I'm just gonna start it right now. I'm just gonna tap it, okay? Okay, watch how much coffee beans are. As you can see, it's none come out. That's good. Okay, so now I like to move the top. Actually, power off, guys. Move the top, move the hopper. As you can see, you see a lot of coffee grinds there. Use the brush. Since we're not using the vacuum cleaner, uh, if you have vacuum cleaner, a lot easier, but some of you does not have vacuum cleaner to suck out the coffee beans. Okay, just go like this, All right? Now I'm gonna put back in the hopper one more time. Turn back on the grinder on the machine. Okay, I'm gonna run it one more time. I'm gonna top it again. You see a lot of grinds come out, as you can see from here. Quite a, these are all stale coffee beans. Let's take a look one more time. Make sure I shut the power off. It's much cleaner. Okay. At this point here, again, clean it well. And I'm going to remove the inner burr. Go counterclockwise, okay, counterclockwise. Just make sure, don't force it, just go nice and easy. Yeah, just like so. You see that all the old coffee grinds. You can just use a brush, just clean it. So this is the when time to check your inner birds. Go through your finger. If you feel like it's getting dull, okay, it's not sharp anymore, which means it's a good time to replace your birds. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything back in. Okay, before we're gonna put back in the inner bird, I'm just I'm gonna use my paper towel to just clean inside. Okay, just clean it well. Now you're gonna put back in the inner bird just to make sure you align with the arrow. Okay. And then you're gonna clockwise. You're gonna hear the clicking noise. If he doesn't wanna click, uh, take it out. Try this method. Okay, put back into your hopper without your birds. Okay, try this. Put the hopper back in. Turn back on your machine. Get your dosing cup. I'm gonna start the motor, okay? While I'm starting the motor, I'm going to start tapping, tapping action again, okay? So like so. Just tap it. 
you see how much coffee grinds come out. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, now this looks pretty clean as well. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfectly clean. Again, if you have a vacuum cleaner, it makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have vacuum cleaner, uh, this is the best thing. Now I'm going to put back in the birds. And now you can, you're going to hear the click. There we go. Put back in your hopper. This is how you clean your Brabber Express or Brabber Vista Pro. Uh, could be the Brabber Vista Touch as well. Should, uh, should be the same process. Again, if you don't have a vacuum cleaner, this is the best method to clean your built-in grinder. Uh, again, if you have a vacuum cleaner, I mean, that's much, much easier, but this is next best thing. Uh, brush, flat head, screwdriver for your Pro, uh, Allen wrench for your Bravo Vista Express, and some cleaning brush. And then uh, try to clean, I like to do at least every other month. If I'm using the darker rust coffee, maybe like end of month, okay, just clean the built-in grinder. But if you are doing the medium to light roast, maybe every other month should be fine. I hope this video helps. I'm going to see you guys next time.